Hello everyone, I am Ashish Shukla from product management team. I am working in a meta solution and related applications in Oracle. Today I will show you how to do the configurations of measurement timeliness and quality aggregator functionality in meta solution. So before we start, I just want to explain you the business benefit of this particular functionality. It allows users to view analytics data based on the quality and timeliness of measurement data. Okay, now move to the next slide. So these are the various key sections or areas of measurement timeliness and quality aggregator functionality. We require to configure it properly before initiating any batch or any project implementation. Now let's go to the individual sections where we can see the detailed configurations through demo application. So first is service type which defines the specific type of service for which usage can be recorded and captured like electric, gas and water. So now let's move to the application side. Go to the admin menu, general, service type. So here we can see a various service type has been configured like electric, gas, water, wastewater, etc. And below are the major components of that particular service type. Okay, now move to the next section. The next section is unit of measure, which defines the quantities measured and recorded such as kilowatt, kilowatt hour, cubic feet, degree, etc. So now let's move to the application. Go to the admin menu, rates, and then unit of measure. So here you can see a list of unit of measures which we have configured like amps, celsius, cubic feet, kilowatt, kilowatt hour and below are the major components of unit of measures like service type that is electric, decimal positions, allowed on measuring component, measure peak quantity, magnitude. So now let's move to the next section. The next section is measuring component type which defines the important properties of a measuring component. So now let's move to the application side. Go to the admin menu, device and then measuring component type. So here we need to configure the measuring component class is aggregator type. So here there are four measuring component type which we need to configure it. First is electric KWS 60 minute measured quantity. Second, electric KWS 60 minute quality count. Third is electric KWS 60 minute timeliness count. And fourth, electric KWS 60 minute timeliness quantity. So I have configured for electric service type. We can also configure like water and gas as per the business requirement. But currently we have just configured for electric type and these are the four major measuring component type which we need to configure it. So now let's move to the individual measuring component type and see the configurations. So first one is electric KWS 60 minute measured quantity. So we have divided those measuring component type into two parts. One is the master measurement aggregator type. Another is a sub aggregator measuring component type. So measured quantity measuring component type is nothing but a mastered measurement aggregator type which we have defined under business object and rest of other measuring component types are part of sub aggregator measuring component type that is your quality count, timeliness count and timeliness quantity. See this section. Apart from these other major components of these measuring component type are service type, measurement aggregator type interval size, then aggregation parameters like aggregation origin, aggregation lag, aggregation cutoff and then value identifiers like measurement, kilowatt hours, then value 0, 01, value 0, 02 which is nothing but your like regular KWH, estimated KWH like this. So these are the major components of measured quantity measuring component type and the display configurations like hours to chart data to display is 96. 
okay now move to the next measuring component type the second measuring component type is electric kws 60 minute quality count so this measuring component type is part of sub measurement aggregator type and these are the major components of this particular measuring component type like service type interval size and then value identifiers and then hours of chart data to display now move to the next measuring component type third one is electric kws 60 minute timeliness count so this is again the part of some measurement aggregator type and the major components are like service type interval size value identifiers and then hours of chart data to display now move to the another measuring component type and the last one is electric kws 60 minute timeliness quantity this is again a part of sub measurement aggregator type and the major components are like service type interval size and then value identifiers and hours to chart data to display okay now move to the next section okay the next section is activity type which defines the main attributes of any particular activity type so now let's move to the application side go to the admin menu communication and then activity type so here we need to configure one activity specific for measurement quantity scanner activity type so this is the activity which we need to configure measurement quantity scanner and below are the major components we need to configure it like activity type category that is dimension scanner business object and the activity type status that is active okay now move to the next section the next section is extendable lookup which defines valid values so the dynamic usage calculation determines the usage calculation subscription which requires the configuration in extendable lookup i will show you through one example in the application that how to configure the extendable lookup and that is a very important configurations before implementing this functionality so now let's move to the application side so here for an example i have just open one uses subscription so here there are two sections which are very important while configuring this functionality usage calculation group and another one is the rate history and both the sections required the configuration in extendable lookup values so here if you will see the usage calculation group is nothing but electric simple and the rate history is nothing but er basic so we required to configure those values in the extendable lookup values so for usage calculation group we have one extendable lookup that is d2 usage calculation group lookup that is also called bi aggregation usage group mapping extendable lookup and for rate history that is er basic we have a extendable lookup value that is d2 ccb rate schedule lookup that is nothing but ccb rate schedule extendable lookup so we need to mention those values in extendable lookup and there is a mapping between those sections also so i will show you in extendable lookup that how we can configure those values and how to map those values under extendable lookup so go to the admin menu general then extendable lookup so this extendable lookup value is nothing but your bi aggregation usage group mapping so here you can see a various values of usage group so the below one are the major components of particular extendable lookup values for calculation group electric simple we have major components like status and then description and then business objects so business object is nothing but bi aggregation usage group mapping now we will move to the next extendable lookup value the next extendable lookup value is d2 ccb rate schedule lookup that is ccb rate schedule lookup value and we see a various rate schedule values under this particular extendable lookup so we have configured for er basic and here you can see the calculation group that is electric simple so there is a mapping between both the values in that particular extendable lookup value 
and apart from this other major components are like business object that is ccb rate schedule and the description now let's move to the next section the next section is the master configurations which enables an implementation to define configuration for features in the system so now let's move to the application side go to the admin menu general and then master configuration so here is the timeliness master configuration values and below are the major components of this particular master configurations okay so this ends all the required configurations now let's do the demonstration to run this functionality so before start the demonstration we need to just run the batches sequentially so first batch is d1 mq tds that is measurement quality and timeliness dimension scanner batch control so this batch control creates measuring component aggregators that will also serve as a measuring component dimensions so this process will create a measuring component aggregator for each unique combination of postal code city device types head end systems usage group market service type geographic code manufacturer model service provider type etc it also supports the multi threading and the another batch is d2 agg that is aggregation monitor batch process so this will process all active master aggregators together with the linked sub aggregators that satisfy the batch filter parameter so this batch process should be run on a scheduled reoccurring basis so now let's move to the application so before starting the demonstration i just want to show you the existing data in the system just go to the totals and trends consumption statistics so i have uploaded three postal code data for lng head end system for the month of february and march so before start the demonstration i just want to ensure you that there is no aggregation data for the month of february and march so i uploaded the data for 44707 postal code and i uploaded for electric simple so currently there is no aggregation data for the month of february 2022 and march 2022 so here there is no aggregation data similarly for another postal code so the another postal code is 94111 i just want to assure you that there is no data for this postal code also for the month of february 2022 and march 2022 yeah just click on load button so if you will see that there is no aggregation data for the month of february 2022 and march 2022 okay uh, so now let's start so if you are implementing this project first time you need to go to the main menu then communication and then you need to create the activity then we need to select the activity type is measured quantity scanner and then click on okay the start date we can mention today's date and the aggregator measuring component type is nothing but your measured quantity and then click on save so here we have created one activity and that is the activity id so now the next step is to run the batch that is d1 mq tds batch which will create the measuring component aggregator mc types so there are two ways either you can run the d1 mq tds batch control where you need to mention the activity id the same activity id as the parameter in that particular batch control or you have another option to run manually by clicking on scan button guys i have already created those measuring component aggregators okay which i already showed you so i am not run this particular batch or i am not clicking on scan button and just skipping this step because i have already created one so now i am moving to the next step which is to run the batch d2 agg now we have to go to the tools batch job submission okay uh, now we need to uh, run the d2 agg batch okay so this is our d2 agg batch and uh, we need to make the batch business date is 
25th of March 2022. So basically I uploaded the last IMD values on 25th March 2022. So my batch business date is 25th March 2022. And these are the major parameters for that particular batch. So I just keep override aggregation horizon days are 53 because I uploaded the data or IMDs from February 1st till March 25th, 2022. Now we can run this batch. Okay, now the batch ends. We, we will see the data first in the application and then after that we can see the data in the OUAV side as well. So now go to the main menu, totals and trends, consumption statistics, service type electric, the postal code 44707, electric simple. Now we can see the values from January 31st till March 25th. We can see now the aggregated values for the postal code 44707 and these are the aggregated values for the month of February and March 2022. Here we can also see the values. So these are the aggregated values which we received it now. Okay, now let's move to the another postal code. We can verify the data. The postal code is 94111. It's an electric simple. So the earlier aggregated values were zero. But after running the batch, we can see if the aggregated values are there or not. So the date is 31st till 24th of March 2022. So earlier the values were zero. But now this time you will see the aggregated data for the month of February and March. Similarly, we can also see the values So these are the aggregated values. Now let's move to the OUAV application where we can see the canvases and we can see the aggregated data. So this is your OUAV application where we can see the timeliness count and quality project overview. We can see the data for the year of 2022. So here we can see the month of February and March data. So there is no non-normal intervals or there is no missing count there for the month of February and March. See here we can see other canvases also. We can see the late AMI interval details where we have uploaded for Feb 2022 and March 2022. So we we got those data after running the batch. So this ends the exercise. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.